overlooking the San Francisco Bay and set on 22 acres of landscaped gardens the historic Claremont Hotel Club and Spa has been revered as one of America's iconic luxury hotels. For the past 100 years, Claremont has been recognized as an icon in the Bay Area. Conveniently located in the heart of Berkeley, the hotel is only a 20-minute drive from downtown San Francisco. The hotel's 276 beautifully appointed rooms offer a mix of old-world charm and California comfort, many boasting breathtaking views of San Francisco. So why does Richard Bloom, a native San Franciscan, a man who called the Claremont Hotel a true California treasure want to build condos on a parking lot that spills into a two-lane, often overwhelmed stretch of Highway 13. Why dig an underground parking facility hundreds of feet from the third most active earthquake fault in the state? The developer is obviously not trying to provide teachers and laborers with low-cost housing. Did Bloom pay too much for the property? Are his partners pressuring him? Does he need the money? Richard Bloom, the major owner of the Claremont allegedly once told a reporter, When I'm 100 years old I'll still be a deal junkie. Having participated in the buyout of Qantas, the purchase of the department store division of Australia's retail giant Coles Meyer, a buyout of the Raffles Hotel chain of Singapore etc. He's a man of presumed wealth. He has not appeared in the Forbes 400, and he has discouraged financial journalists from assigning him a huge personal fortune but the Christian Science Monitor estimated his wife's minimum net worth at over $41 million. Before he purchased the Claremont it had been acquired, in 2007, along with three other hotels, by Morgan Stanley for $6.6 .6 billion. That's billion with a B. In 2011 that group of purchasers owed a payment of $1.5 billion and filed for bankruptcy. In 2012 Paulson and Company purchased the group of hotels for $1.5 billion. They tried to sell the acquisition in 2013 for a mere $80 million, a $1,400 million loss. A year later, Richard Bloom and his equal partner FRHI bought the properties. FRHI is a luxury management company, based in Toronto. It's owned by a Qatari government fund and Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal. It's thought that Bloom and his partners paid about $155 million or more than half a million dollars per hotel room for the property. In December 2015 FRHI sold most of its hotel holdings to Accor Hotels, a French company that operates 3,700 hotels on five continents. Accor paid the Qataris $2.9 billion for a bunch of hotels, a price that a Barclays analyst considered very high. Now the residents of North Oakland and South Berkeley are being asked to OK bail out condos. Sure. Why not help the French, the Qataris and Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal? Never mind the congestion and the earthquake risk, 